Hi from Vape Mill. Today I'm reviewing the Waterfall Recurve. I've already done the wicking tutorial that I'm unboxing. I'll drop the links below. So let's crack straight on with what we think. I'm not going to lie, first time I wicked it, I didn't like it. Uh, the taste were appalling. It really weren't my ting. Then I re-wicked it again with my own coil. Didn't like it. I kind of cast it aside for a bit. Weren't all that keen on it at all. Uh, in my eyes, a good deck can be built in any way and it'll be good. Uh, should be completely customizable. And it were, I didn't like it. And I get benefit of doubt a couple uh, a day or two after. Put my own uh, put the coils that come with it in. And it much better. Uh, if you watch the wicking tutorial, I land straight up with top of the uh, posts. And it builds much better. It's nice. I like it. To, to a point I've been using it with my mesh. Mechanical. As, uh, I know you'll get annoyed when people say mesh. I like saying it just because it winds you up. The, let's look at the pros and cons. Well, let's look at the info. It's 34 by 24 mil. As I mentioned in the unboxing, it's quite thick, which makes it relatively heavy too. People have kind of pointed on that on the uh, internet, and I don't think it's that much of a difference. It's not really ever. It's just a little bit heavier than usual. Uh, for example, like the drop and blah de blah. Plus, it's quite thick. Also, should make it quite robust. The airflow. It has got. I don't know if you can see the grooves inside. There's a groove at one either side, and that stops it from twisting all the way around. However, because the airflow is also built into the deck and it's built into the cap, you put it on and then you have to kind of get a bit of light and look to where it lines up. But that also does mean it's quite easy to change the airflow to make it looser or tighter uh, to where it suits. It's rocking for 810 drip tip. Because it's postless, you can get quite big coils in there. If you look, that's gauged at 3mm coil. But as you can see, you can probably quite easily get a four in there and still have plenty of room. It has got four wicking holes, so you can, somebody pointed out you can do it left handed or right handed. To be quite frank, if, I don't think if you made me a left handed deck, it would be much of a problem for me, even though I'm right handed. Another thing about the really thick cap, it's quite tight on. I mean, it, even after using it for a week, it's still, even with the lubrication, the o rings make it quite tight to get on and off. On top of that, I found that the drip tip's quite loose. Maybe we need to uh, loosen the bottom and tighten the top a little bit. Another thing is I've had very little leakage off it. Uh, I've been dripping straight through the cap, which is nice because it's single coil, so you can because it's perfectly in. Uh, but on my Vigo, you kind of have to angle it a bit. With that, you just drop straight in, quite happy. Pretty much single for uh, a single coil bed bow. As I mentioned, the cap's curved and so is the drip tip. And I do like it, the drip tip kind of fits on your mouth, if you know what I mean. It's just, it feels like it's designed to be, you're not sucking on a straw, you, you're sucking on a vape. Which is nice. Now, for all you Instagram users out there, I would like to take nice pretty pictures with a vape, which obviously I do. Um, thank you all for subscribing by the way. Follow it even. It's not very photogenic. It's... And it's because, because of the lighting and stuff, because of the curve on the recurve, it's quite hard to get the drip tip into a position where it shows it at its best and with the best background behind it. So, my summary is basically, I really, really didn't like it to start with. Uh, I, I thought it was a bit of a faff, I thought it was massively overrated. And then as I started using it, I really want to keep it. Um, but I'm not going to keep it, it's going straight to giveaway. So comment on the video. Make sure you're subscribed, and next Tuesday, whatever date that'll be, possibly 11th, I don't know, I'll state below, then I'll pick a winner. Uh, this week's winner, by the way, is Michelle, so you win the, uh, I'll message you, um, but Michelle, you've won the Aspire Reacts Mouth to Lung Direct Lung Kit. Congratulations. This week, guys, I'll be reviewing the Drag uh, Nano Kit, uh, Pod Kit by Vupu. That'll go up to give away as soon as I upload the video next week, then you'll have got a week to comment. This week, however, if you want to be with a chance of winning the recurve, comment on this video. Don't forget to subscribe, uh, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, 
all that malarkey, Vaitmill UK. Thanks for watching guys, have fun, stay cloudy.